Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. Dreaming is not real. I can't be. Just keep moving. <laughs> Laura, Laura, Dad, no. It can't be. No. Wait. I'm close, Bob. I'm close, Bob. I'm close, Bob. Wait. Where am I? How far does this path go? There is a truth behind it all. I just want to leave, please. No, no, this isn't.
Son Hato! Who is this? Oh god damn it! This god! Come! Your father awaits! Not real! Are you there? <coughs> yes, I'm here, I think. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There... There is a flower in, in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch <clears throat> made them do things. held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. Someone's been in here, recently. Building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. 
There's no magic here, Nadia. I just want to be very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's gonna help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. Right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pods. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmission since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe.
that chemical from grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Someone scratched something below. Directions to something hidden. I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Another sculpture, but this one looks like a game. These pieces look familiar. I know I've seen something like this before. Comrades, this report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts, the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery.
Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but Advancing it's probably cover. too late. Advancing the cover! More. Down. Let's finish this! Ready to see if the antidote works? I'm not exactly looking forward to it, to be honest. If it does, I'll make my own and meet you at the bail. I'll let you know when I get there. I think about Dad every day. For years, I was so angry with him. For losing himself in his work. For chasing what I thought were fairy tales. I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young. That I couldn't understand. But I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far. I know he's with me. The divine source is here, and I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul, that it could change the world. But he's gone now, and I'm the only one left who knows he was right. Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, Misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. 
She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. This is Trinity gear. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Must have walked right past it last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that <sighs> place is still deadly. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Seraphima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them. Fighting in the open, I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. Wolves. Damn. Fast to the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. It's 
dark. The others are out there. I can hear them, panting. Moment of clarity, but it's slipping, coming less frequently. We're sick, poisoned, something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here, walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit, a goddess, a demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen. It is my great honor to have been given the responsibility of overseeing the construction of a shrine to the Apostles, out in the Far Vale. The site is on the very borders of our newly founded city, through a distant canyon. The natural waterfalls and geothermal springs grant us an amazing opportunity to use our combined knowledge to create a place of solemn worship and reflection that glorifies not only the memory of the Apostles, but also our own recent advances in construction. Already we have outpaced the empire we left behind. We will arrive in the morning and break ground on a shrine to honor our past and the future of our city. Maybe I can connect this to something. I should be able to connect these two cranks. They put me with the other Russian prisoners. I could see the hate in their eyes, and I didn't blame them. To them, I was just another instrument of their humiliation and degradation. I didn't tell them what I tried to do. It could never be enough. When the revolt came, I was ready. The native prisoners, the ones the Gulag recruited from this very village, were kept apart from the Russians. They had known of my resistance, and that kept them from killing me, along with the other guards. I held my daughter, your mother, for the first time, as the Gulag burned around us, the people of the village took us both in, and against their own superstition, agreed to help me rescue your grandmother from the Vale.
I'll need to get across somehow.
Maybe I can use one of these ropes to get back up. to run. running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually.
you getting on? Don't you want to see if this thing works? <sighs> Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. The pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. And what did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. Sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never killed herself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Come quick! No. Nadia? How? Uh, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I, I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. officer wandered out of the veil, just as our rescue party prepared to enter. His body bore the marks of torture, a sight we knew well. The witch descended on them during the revolt, killing Seraphima along with her captors. He told us of the house that walks, of her fearsome voice. A child's story made flesh. He died the next day. Baba Yaga leaves no survivors. I wanted to go on, to bury your grandmother, but no one would enter the Vale after that. In the village, I learned to be a good man. I lived to honor her. I worked hard, but I dreamt of killing the witch every night. I might have gone years ago, had the fever not taken your mother. I stayed for you, Nadia. I am a lucky man. I lived a good life I did not deserve. A new fight is coming, but it is not mine. If I am to find revenge for Seraphima, it must be now. I go to kill the witch, to lay your grandmother to rest. I will not be coming back. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> 